we do have feedback. All right, so I did mine on molecular dynamics. Um, I missed a couple fast periods, so I don't know how much I got covered here, but hopefully I got it. So I start off just what is molecular dynamics, just a brief overview. Um, and it's just computer generated simulations of the movement of atoms and molecules, and uh, it can be used to uh, refine 3D structures. Um, and then it asks for equations, uh, and I found that it uses a lot of Newton's equations of motion to assume the motion of particles. Uh, plus, you can use certain uh, algorithms depending on, I guess, what exactly you're trying to find to um, refine it a little bit more. Um, and then also, uh, I was asked to figure out the connection between molecular dynamics and chemical reactions. And I guess what I kind of found was that um, it can illustrate the collision of particles and uh, you can also use quantum mechanical methods such as density functional theory to uh, figure out electron behavior so you can find out the energy of the states and stuff. Uh, and then uh, this was the molecule that I'm doing research on. It's the MOSC one and this is the nickel version of it so it's got um, endo and exo cavities that are combined by the BTC ligand they can be functionalized with different ligands and different metals, and this one just happens to be nickel. Okay, let's thank Andrew. Anything you always wanted to ask him? Uh, uh, did you make that molecule in Gauss cube? I definitely did not, no. Oh, that's the one that I did. I didn't see I started trying, and I realized that it was pretty much not going to happen. Why do you actually help? More questions? Can you scroll back to the slide with the questions? Yes. Yeah. So you mentioned a lot of Newton's equations. Yeah. I don't know how, how many Newton's equations, equations are here? <laughs> it's got, yeah, see it's got five here, and I think it's just different versions of the same equation almost. So um, do we take it? Not sure. So, uh, I just found this online and copy, copy and pasted it. So, but uh, probably so, I don't know what applies. You copy and pasted it in an educated way. It was all together, so it looks it looks good. So, um, what is, can you please point? Which of those are actual Newton equations, and which are solutions of Newton equations? Okay, so Newton equations. And how do you uh, discriminate whether an equation is actual equation or solution? Uh, let, me, let me help. Anyone wants to help him? So, uh, a rule of thumb. If there is a dot, it is an, an equation. If there is no dot, it is a solution. So Newton's equation is differential equation, and dot stands for time derivative. So the bottom line is actual equation, and all above uh, stands for solutions. Okay? Do you see the last line? <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, very good. More questions? Okay, let's thank Andrew once again. And